Hello everybody and welcome to Read Every Day, Day 9. And for Day 9 we're going to recap, review and revisit our reading by re-showing a video of a class in lockdown. And do you know, because this was an online class during lockdown, it might not be a class that you've actually seen. So you might not be revisiting this class. You might see it for the first time. Well, let's have a look at the reading for skimming, scanning, and at the end of the video, all about my day. Hi everybody, today's online classroom has been recorded and this video is all about using photographs, headings and keywords to read. So you can see there that that sign for adult family and community learning for Doncaster tells you the initial letters of each word and inside that you can find the words aspire, fun, create and learn. And in our classroom today, we're going to be looking at some photographs of my life and working out using our reading skills. What do photographs and images tell you? So to begin with, we're going to be using the skimming skill. What does that mean? Well, that's easy. It's what you do already. You use skimming to get the main ideas of a text quickly. So we call this getting the gist of the information. And it means that you're looking for titles, headings and illustrations, pictures of interest. But if you look at those two magazines on your screen there, you will see that both have headings and titles of articles that you'll find inside and you skim the front of those magazines to decide do I really want to buy this and do I want to really learn about the myths and truths about walking well I might if I have a young child we're also going to be using the scanning skills today this is another reading skill that you have and you use it to locate information quickly. When you want information about a specific topic and you really need to know the key words you're looking for to be able to scan because that's what you're scanning for. So on your screen there you can see a television guide. I would be scanning those programs to see is the one there that I really want to watch and I do like to watch Diagnosis Murder. So if that's on, on the TV guide, I'll look for further information. And yes, we all use dictionaries, don't we? So you'll be scanning reading. We'll be looking at your dictionary for keywords. The other thing that we're going to be doing in class today is looking at images in text. And as you know, images is just another word for pictures. And this is important because pictures are often part of the writing. They're there to illustrate something, to tell you something or to get a point across quickly and easily. So here are some signs that you should know and I'm looking at these today because this is the start of our reading. When we're thinking about reading, you're reading all the time, all the signs around you. Exit, toilets, fire exit, no smoking, open and closed. And if you are a car driver, you will know that there's no point just being able to say what are the words on the sign but you actually need to know what is the sign for what information is it telling you so during the lockdown you are perhaps going out for some essential shopping or exercise and during that time have a look around you at the signs and make sure that you are following the ideas that are shown in those signs so we're going to continue now with reading about me and 
if you know something about me, that might not be relevant to the questions I'm going to ask. And one of the things that I found about your reading is that sometimes you forget to look back at the passage of writing or the picture to make the decision because you think you know the decision already. Well, let's have a look at some photographs to see what information you can find out about me. So what skills are we going to use? Let's just recap. Skimming, can you remember what that means? Yes, it's something you do with your eyes to get the main ideas of the text. What about images? Yes, get the point across quickly and easily. So whilst I'm going to be showing the pictures, I want you to think about what's in the pictures and why might that be relevant to me? Oh, so here we have the first picture, looks like a classroom. If you can't see who individuals are, that's me right at the very end of the classroom next to the board. And here I am again, and I'm with the same group of people, but I'm outside now in the market. So what might you work out from those pictures? Well, you might work out that we're doing something to do with learning, or I might be the teacher in the group. Ah, now I have an important piece of information. I'm going to use one of the words from that sign, learning. So I think these photographs are going to be about learning. And here's a photograph of when I got my first degree in 1982. Yes. And now I know that the information about my life is about how education has been important for me. And here's a photograph of students that I've taught. And ah, a second photograph of a degree, but this one is 30 years after the first photograph there. And that's when I achieved my master's. So the most important message of today's lesson is that we're always learning. And most important thing about knowing about my life is that education has played a very big part in it. I wonder if that's what those photographs are all really about. Ah, yes, here is a title now for us to decide teacher. So those photographs are all pieces of information that add together for me to think about myself in my life as a teacher. So as a reader, you're looking at the photographs and what do we have next? Ah, here's a photograph of when I got married. I can't think of anything else that photograph would show. Hmm, this is different. Now I have a photograph of a teddy bear. So I need to work out what's important about this image. Ah, yes, it has to be the word mum. So it's about being a mother. And that confirms it because that's a photograph of when I was younger and I had my first child. So I think these three photographs together are simply identifying me as a wife and mother. Let's see if I'm right. Yes, wife and mother. So here is a photograph now where the picture of me is not as important as the words on the sash that I'm wearing. And I can't really quite see what those say because the camera flash has reduced their visibility. But I do believe it says nanny to be. So I think this photograph is really about my life as a nanny. And there we go. There's the word nanny. So that confirms that image for me. What could this image be about? Yes, this is also me. And what am I doing? I'm sitting in the car. So I don't think this is going to tell me much more than I drive. So where am I sitting? Oh yes, I'm sitting in the driver's seat. So I think this image is really information about my life as a driver. Let's see if I'm right. Yes, there's that word driver. So that's what's important about that image. 
And now we have an image that is actually a picture of my back garden. So it's not to do with me at all, or is it? Let me think. And maybe if I looked at that picture, it might tell me something about me. It might be something to do with the bright colours. Perhaps I like flowers. Hmm. Maybe I like being in the garden. Oh, and we have another photograph there. That's a picture of the bushes in my garden. So I think looking at those two photographs, it's about how the garden is kept. Let's see what the third photograph shows us. Ah, oh, these are my roses. So I think there's two things you could work out from these photographs using your reading skills. Thinking about this is either going to be somebody likes to be in the garden or it's going to be somebody looks after the garden. Well, I know that I'm the gardener in my house, so I think it's about my role in my life as a gardener. And there we go, it's the word gardener to confirm that. Well, I wonder what else we can find out about me just by looking at photographs. Ah, oh, this is an interesting one. Hmm. Now, this is a set of tables that's being painted and decoupaged. Now, I think that's really like adult cut and stick because that's what we're doing, aren't we? We're sticking photographs onto different pieces of material. So I wonder what that shows. Does that show something about colours I like? Or maybe it shows that I like painting, if I've painted those. Let's see what the next picture shows us. Oh, this is a photograph of when I did some drawings, when I went to the sculpture park. So that's me being a little bit artistic there. So yes, I can be very creative. I do love painting and I do decoupage. And I wonder what the title will tell me. The artist, well, I don't think you can really call me an artist, but I do like to use artistic materials, so that's quite good. Photographs now are about place. Now, that's harder to work out something about me. So let's see what places we have. Well, this first photograph is actually a place in Spain. The second photograph is a place in Portugal. The third photograph is a place, I think, possibly, um, well, I can't really remember where that place is, but it's definitely somewhere that uh, is quite rocky and has camels. And the last photograph is a picture of Iceland. So, even if I can't remember where those photographs come from or which country I'm photographed in, I can certainly link the four photographs and decide, ah, this is really about different countries. So if I'm thinking about a person and I'm looking at pictures of different countries, I'm really thinking about maybe they're a traveller or perhaps they just like to holiday. So shall we have a look at the title? Now that tells us more, tourist. So that really is about going on holiday and being in countries where I don't live. And yes, I think you could say, I do love to do that. So now we're going to move to scanning a text. Do you remember what scanning meant? When we use scanning to locate information, to find things really quickly. And when we want information about a particular topic, a specific topic, particular words, and you do need to know the key words you are looking for. So I want you to remember those three things about scanning, because you're going to have to scan for some key words in a moment. So I'm Jane, and today I'm going to tell you all about my day. And whilst I'm reading, I want you to scan the text for some key words. And these are the key words you're looking for. Time, clean, tea and don't like. So you know those are the four things that you're looking for. 
and when I finished reading I'm going to ask you some questions without giving you the chance to look at the piece of writing and we'll see if you can answer those questions so something to do with time clean tea and don't like now this is actually a true recount of my day i get up at five o'clock to feed and play with jinx the kitten next i clean the kitchen and the bathroom and i listen to the news to see if there is any more information about the lockdown in the UK. I make an online lesson to share with others so that even during this time people can visit an online classroom and keep learning English. After that I am quite tired so I stop for a cup of tea and a rest. I love living in England but I find lockdown tiring and difficult. I miss everybody in the real classroom and don't like not being able to go out to see family and friends. I get a lot of satisfaction from knowing that my family are safe and well, but I sometimes hear very sad stories about others and this can be quite difficult for me. I do dream about the future and what life will be like when my granddaughter has grown. Maybe I will still be living in England then. Maybe I will have moved to another country. So whilst I was reading, did you scan the text for key words? And what were those key words? Time, clean, tea, and things that I don't like. I hope you did, because I'm going to ask you some questions about my day. So can you remember? This means you're not going to look back at the text. You're going to use your memory to think, do I know the answer? First, what time do I get up? Hmm, I think that's quite an easy one. Now, I'm not asking you what time do I get up every day. I'm asking you, what time did it say I got up in the piece of writing? Yes, five o'clock. What do I do after I've played with the kitten? So this information was in that written text as well. I clean the kitchen and the bathroom. Do you know, do I stop for a coffee? Now, if you know me, you'll know that I do drink coffee, but that's not what that question is asking you. Any question that you're given with a piece of reading is asking you to find the answers in the reading. So did it say I stopped for a coffee? No, I stopped for tea. What don't I like? Not what do you know I don't like, but what did it say? What was written in that recount of my day that's something I don't like? That's right, not being able to go out and see family and friends. Will I still be living in England when my granddaughter has grown up? Now the answer to this one is one word. Did you see that one word at the end? Yes, maybe. So well done if you got all of those questions right. Practice, practice, practice. I tell you this because this is how we learn. Skimming text, so practice looking quickly at pieces of writing you have in the home. Look at headings to find main ideas. Practice scanning text, finding information and using keywords from all of the things that you see around you. And also use images. If there's a picture, what does it tell you? Because writers use pictures for a reason. And that's all I have to say about that. Excellent. 
So, if you looked closely at those photographs, you will have seen that they're all about my life. And if you follow the blue link below, there's a game that reveals some of those photographs and asks you, what do you know about your teacher? That's me. So, when you play it, see what do you know about your teacher? And I'll see you again for Read Every Day, Day 10. Bye now.